Welcome everyone. Today we are going to perform the installation of Kali Linux on VMware machine. Uh, we will be using uh, pre-built pre VMware images from Kali.net official website so that it will reduce our effort and time to deploy a working Kali Linux OS onto VMware. So to start with, what we'll do is we'll go to google.com and in there just type Kali Linux VMware download. Select the first link. Now you'll see some info about this thing here, but we need to download it and we'll read it later. <laughs> we'll click here and from here, select virtual machines, select 64 or 32 bit, whatever your OS is and perform a download here. There are various other options available. Make sure that you're selecting VMware and do a download. Now, download is going to take some time, and uh, once it will be done, it will be pretty straightforward action which we need to perform. So, we'll stop here. Okay, now it is downloaded, and now we'll be extracting this zip file. Once this file is extracted, our next step would be pretty simple and straight that we need to import this into our VMware application, VMware Workstation or VMware Player, whatever we are using. In my case, I'm using VMware Workstation uh, 16.x. So this extraction is taking some time. And what I'll do is I'll stop here and we'll resume once it is done. Now it is extracted. Now what we need to do is we need to select .vmx file. Just double click. And what it will do is it will import the VMware image into your workstation. As you can see, 21.2. Now here is the configuration which by default is being provided. You can change it. 2 GB RAM is definitely, I believe, is less. Start the machine. Okay, now here, what you need to do is select I copied it. And after this, just wait for a while as it's the first time when we are executing. Select the first option here. Click enter and then just wait for a couple of minutes. So, you know, in the background, what is happening is it is, you know, for the first time as it is running, it is setting the username, credentials, the rest of the file system. And now you can see our famous Kali logo. It is already up. Uh, still, some files are loading. It will show you some. Now, here comes the login screen. Uh, it's taking so it, it's tick now username what you need to enter is Kali K A L I password is also Kali hit enter as we have only selected or given 2 GB of RAM to this machine it is taking some time if we'll give it higher version of RAM it will have done will work properly now here the first step which we need to do after logging in is we need to perform and update and update Update the repositories by typing sudo apt update. Now here, type the password for Kali, that is Kali. Wait for some time. It's going to take a while to update all the repositories uh, of the system. Once these repositories are updated, we will be in good shape to upgrade the system so that whatever packages are there, those those need to be on the latest version. I mean, all the tools that are installed comes pre-installed with Kali 
uh, are the latest one. So that we should not face any challenges. So here it's almost done. It has already completed this activity. And after this, what we will be doing is we will be upgrading the system. So here just type, you can see 600 odd packages can be upgraded. So just type sudo apt and upgrade. Hit enter. It's going to take a while as it's a big number of packages which it needs to upgrade in the background. So what we can see is the total size of the upgrade is around less than a GB. <laughs> less than a GB, definitely. So what we will be doing here is uh, while it is doing it, upgrade in the background we'll see what all tools and features are Kali is providing us you can see a lot of tools like vulnerability analysis they are having a bunch of application associated with every kind of uh, vulnerability scanning and exploitation also you can see password attacks they're having a lot of tools for wireless attacks they're having a lot of tools our next video will be on wireless attacks for sure reverse engineering exploitable tools and here uh, we can see that uh, there are other tools also so we'll see some of them to make sure that our installation is up and running properly and uh, there are no issues associated with it okay so what we'll do here is we'll start a new terminal window and type and map to see if and map is up and running yes it is this is it guys this is it for this video and uh, feel free to like and share if you like it and do follow my channel for more such kind of videos if you face any challenges while performing this installation please let me know in the comment box i'll be more than happy to help you guys okay thank you very much bye bye